Green Bay men's basketball is back toward the top after three straight dismal seasons on the court. I think they're heading in the right direction and there's a lot more excitement about the program as of late. We'll have highlights from tonight's game and what their success means for UW-Green Bay athletics. Packers had an awesome year. Uh, it's, it's Phoenix basketball time. Let's go, let's get this community to rally around this, this team. Tonight we have team coverage of the Green Bay Phoenix rise back to the top. We have the highlights from their game and the impact it has on the university's athletic department. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. Green Bay's men's Phoenix basketball is back in action this evening. The biggest crowd of the year on hand at the Rest Center to watch the top two teams in the Horizon League standings. Fox 11's Cody Krupp joins us now in the studio and Cody They've been quite a story here in 2024. Hey, that's right, Mark. They've been one of the best feel-good turnaround stories in all of college basketball. This point last season, the Phoenix had just two victories, and a year ago from yesterday, they fired their head coach mid-season. But what a difference a year and a day can make. From worst to first, tonight with a victory, we jumped to number one in the conference. So it was a battle of one versus two in the Rash Center. Phoenix, a half came back to Oakland coming into it early and often. Big buckets, compliments of Foster Wonders. The Iron Mountain Michigan native just couldn't miss. Put GB ahead 8-7. As a kid, was here watching the gory days of the Phoenix. Now he's helping bring it back to fruition. Tied it up halfway through the first period. Wonders already over his game average. Scored 10 of their first 15. Started out 5 for 5 shooting. And a career best at 19. All tied up at 20. The reigning Horizon League Player of the Week. Noah Reynolds here going to put Green Bay ahead with about four minutes left of the half. Although it was short-lived, called for a technical. This game featured eight ties, 15 lead changes. Phoenix down one intermission. Back and forth again in the second. Will Eames, was he ever excellent? The grad transfer averaged just two points per game coming into it. Season best 14 tonight. That was a nice little putback. Also led the team in board. Sparking a 14-0 run beginning with about seven minutes left. Reynolds coast to coast. That put GB up 11 with three minutes remaining. He finished with just eight points, but they didn't need much more than that from the leading score. All advantage was down to five final minute, but Rich Byron, the dagger, and Green Bay winning by double digits. 69-59 over Oakland. Uh, yes, they do take over the top spot on the horizon in the process. And more than 3,500 people were in attendance to witness it. And that's if you exclude the annual game where of those local elementary schools packed the Resch Center. It was the highest attended, not only of the season, but the biggest crowd since 2019. Fox 11's Ben Crummels joins us. Ben, big crowds, that's the next step in turning around this program. Yeah, Cody, attendance at the Resch Center has never been able to replicate those glory days of the mid-90s at the Brown County Arena. However, the entire athletics department relies on the basketball programs, so increasing attendance is a major focus. And games like tonight are crucial in those efforts. A steady stream of people heading into the Rush Center Thursday night is a good sign the community is starting to buy into UW-Green Bay's men's basketball team. I just saw that the program was turning around a little bit with the new coach and uh, they're giving away jerseys and wanted to check out what the, how the program is doing. If I live closer, I would definitely come to more of these. Last year's 3-29 record put the Phoenix men near the bottom of all Division I teams in the country. New coach Sundance Wicks is on pace to bring this year's squad from worst to first, which is huge for the university's athletics department. Alabama football for us is men's basketball, women's basketball. That's our ticket driver, our sponsorships, donations. So it is uh, critical that we have successful programs. Before this game, the average attendance was actually 20 below last year's average, both right around 1,700 people. The obvious hope is that goes up soon, and a crowd like this provides a great start. Each game, we're getting better. I think the buzz is starting even more. Even in similar successful years, attendance has never consistently matched the vision for when the Rush Center was built in 2002. These are busy nights. High school, you got how many high schools in the Valley, and here, they all, they're, all their kids are playing there. People at this game say ticket prices shouldn't be an obstacle. The get-in price ranges from $15 to $20, depending on the game. Yeah, I was happy we paid $20 for these. I was surprised, actually, at kind of how cheap that was. This it's not like Lambeau Field where you guys spend $9 for a bottle of water. If you want to check out the action, the Phoenix will be back at the Rush Saturday at noon. UW-Green Bay currently ranks fifth out of 11 teams in the Horizon League for home attendance. Last year, they were seventh. 